Hello everyone, it's Solomon here. I'm outside today. Um, today I'm going to make a little video about a young gentleman by the name of Tristan Lee. Tristan Lee is a famous bodybuilder on social media and he's known primarily for two things. The first thing is that the guy is unbelievably lean all the time, like he has no body fat. And the second thing is that he's very young. I believe, as of the making of this video, he's 18 years old. Uh, but even when he was as young as 15, he was being noticed for that very combination of youth and physique development. Um, now, I don't have a problem with Tristan himself. Uh, he has a pleasant demeanor in his videos and from what I can tell he seems like a humble hard-working guy and I guess because of his personable nature and striking achievements at a young age uh, he's got a huge following and you'll notice when you go to his page that he's surrounded by positivity he elicits a generous response from other bros who are being supportive and who cultivate each other's enthusiasm and who hold him in high regard. So it's with some misgivings that I'm about to deliver what I'll say next, um, which is that it's clear to me that Tristan is not doing healthy things to his body. And I believe um, as wholesome as it may seem, we should stop enabling his unhealthy lifestyle choices because they set a dangerous precedent, and we don't want other young people following in Tristan's footsteps. So why do I think Tristan's lifestyle is unhealthy? In this video, I'm not going to accuse him of using any pharmaceutical enhancement. Um, others have already done that to the poor guy ad nauseum uh, with relentless natty or not videos. Uh, instead, I'm going to make the case that whether or not Tristan is natural, he's still doing unhealthy things to himself. And his unhealthiness stems from his leanness. If you are natural, that is not on enhancement, when you get as lean as Tristan, your body and mind cease to function properly. It's one thing to be lean, right? I'm lean, you know, 10 to 15% body fat. That's very healthy. Uh, but being extremely lean, like Tristan is, you know, shredded, 4% body fat, veins, freaky muscle striations. Being that lean has been shown in innumerable studies to be detrimental to your health. You get lethargic, you get brain fog, you become irritable, your joints hurt, you can't sleep, your hormones crash. Men, well, we get erectile dysfunction when we get that lean, and women suffer even worse. They get amenorrhea. Uh, the list just goes on and on. All you have to do is talk to a high-level natural bodybuilder about his or her experiences with competition, and they'll tell you that Getting stage lean is a miserable experience. And that's why stage leanness is a temporary condition for naturals. It's just unsustainable. You, you can get stage lean temporarily, I'm sure, uh, but to stay like that year round is just dangerous. Um, one other thing to note is that if you're natural, you would have to be like an extreme genetic outlier to gain any muscle at all while shredded to the bone, uh, which Tristan doesn't seem to have any problems with. And even if he is an extreme outlier, he would still be handicapping his bodybuilding progress by staying that lean. So the way that many of these social media bodybuilders get around those problems associated with extreme leanness is by using exogenous hormones if you catch my drift. Um, so 
the testosterone that would normally be in decline uh, by getting extremely lean naturally, you can just replace by injecting. Uh, but even when you use this strategy, you know, no one gets a free ride when it comes to using anabolic substances. Abusing anabolics is catastrophic. I'm not going to go into the myriad physical and psychological problems associated with anabolics abuse, um, but the bottom line is, uh, when you roid up, you're trading your health for vanity. So, whether or not Tristan is natty, he's doing very unhealthy things to his physiology, which is the mind as well as the body. And whenever we say, bro, you're looking shredded in his, you know, Instagram comments, we're enabling those unhealthy practices, not just for Tristan himself, but also for the dozens of people who see him as a role model and think, aha, uh -huh, this is how I make it on social media. Um, they too feel encouraged. And I think instead of encouraging those rotten practices and incentivizing young people to adopt them, we should recognize the harm they cause and call them out. Tristan is 18, and sometimes I like to wonder, where would he be? And what would he be doing if social media weren't a thing? I like to think that he would still be bodybuilding, but maybe not in such an extreme way. Maybe recreationally and without all the aspirations to get and stay super shredded. And he might have been a healthier, happier individual. I hope I gave you some food for thought. Thank you for watching consider subscribing. That's the end of the video. Solomon over and out.